morning everyone and happy Monday. As you can see, I am not in my classroom today or in my car on my way to my classroom. We have today off because it is President's Day. I am currently on a mini vacation, but today I figured I would start recording because this is the start of a week in the life of a fourth grade teacher. One of the greatest things about having a day off from school is you don't really have a schedule. So today I'm going to spend some time with my mom and my sister. So I think we're gonna go to Goodwill. After Goodwill, we're gonna go to my favorite place ever, which is Dunkin' Donuts. And then after Dunkin' Donuts, I am going to get my nails done and they need it bad. So I found flexible seating for my classroom. My pink chair that I currently have broke. So we found two of these and I'm really excited. My sister is getting ready to drive to class. She has to go to school today, unlike me. And then my mom and myself are gonna head to Dunkin' Donuts and get ourselves a sweet treat, whether that be a donut or a coffee. I got this for free because of my rewards. Sign up for Dunkin'. So now that we're back, I'm going to eat a little bit of a late lunch. After I eat my lunch, it is time for me to actually work on some of my school stuff. Oh, okay, so I officially wrote out my math plans for the third time. I think I'm gonna pack all of my items up and call it a day when it comes to my schoolwork. I did a lot more than I expected to and as of right now, I am ahead. Some advice for first year teachers. Get what you need to get done for the week and at the least, get what you need to get done for tomorrow and that's it. Do not try to get everything finished because it's never gonna happen. Being a teacher means having a list that never ends. Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. I am officially on the road back to my daily routine of going to school. I'm a little tired this morning because I did not get home until nine o'clock when I was originally supposed to get home around eight o'clock. So today is the start of spirit week. I am wearing my sunglasses on top of my head. We have PLC. My goal this morning though is to try and knock out some grades, get as many of those out of the way as I can. So I just found out the copy machine is broken this morning, so I have to last minute think about what I'm going to do with my kiddos with some of their assignments because I have some things that absolutely require paper. So a lot of my kiddos got their dino points for the week. So I am going to write down which numbers, which correlates with a certain child. Each kid in my classroom has a number and they are going to tell me today what they would like as their reward. It is currently 7.52 and I got a lot of my grading in but I still have some more that I need to get done. I wanted to share that I got some new things added to my classroom. I have this green container right here that holds just random little things that I need, like my journals, my chalk, my, bind, my little notebook that keeps all of my information on students who missed what questions on tests. So for each assessment, I have a page that is dedicated to which questions students missed so I can remediate. I have my little dino passes up here for students who need to take a break, have a cool down, go to the nurse, go to the office. And then I got these brand new ones over here. Um, they're gonna be kind of like my grade, graded copy. I'll probably make one like my remediation file um, and figure something out for the other two. But these are awesome, I love having those. 
So the Lord must be looking out for me today because I'm not even kidding you. Five minutes before the bell started, my co-teacher walks into my room and I hear the copy machine working. And the day is now complete. So I'm gonna be completely honest, my day did not end on a very positive note with some of my kiddos. I had to call some parents, I had to um, have some conversations, some kids said some things that were not the kindest, but it is what it is. This is the reality of teaching and that's the point of this vlog is to give you guys a true insight of what it's like to be a teacher. And although I love my job, I can tell you that some days are just not easy. <laughs> for a walk? Who wants to go? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go for a walk. Good morning and happy Wednesday. We are at hump day. Yay! Not that it was hard to because it's only a four day week. Today is a very basic school day from what I am aware of. We have a 45 minute planning time, which is awesome. I'm probably going to sit down with my co-teacher and we're gonna look at the next math unit because I'm struggling a little bit with planning that particular unit. So here are the chairs in my room. I gotta clean up this area a little bit. It's looking a little disastrous, but I'm really excited. I know the kids are gonna love them when they see them. And then over here, I finally put labels so I know what goes in these two specific drawers. And I have not figured out what I'm gonna do with this one, but I'm sure something will come up today. I will be transferring this onto this. Oh, wow, today has been crazy, but good kind of crazy, just very busy. I am currently in my lunch block and I'm very excited because my wonderful man made me some vegetables. I brought some pizza, I got a big lunch to eat today and I'm very excited and I finally have some time to relax because this morning has been chaotic. So I'm going to enjoy lunch with my TA and then get ready for the rest of the afternoon. It is 3.14 p.m. and I am currently sitting in my car in the parking lot of my school and I am tired. Today was a really great day, but it was also a very exhausting day. I had a lot of kids in and out of my room today. And luckily for me, my co-teacher is teaching social studies right now, so during that 20 minutes of her time, I get to kind of sit down, get my work done, and catch up on things that I know I need to catch up on. I got all of my math planning done today. It was also backwards day today, and I wore this cover up backwards with my ID tag backwards as well, and the kids got a kick out of it. I also at one point wore my glasses upside down. A lot of my kids participated in backwards day too, which was awesome. I am going to go home, I'm going to eat some dinner, go to the gym, and type up my math plans as well as plan out my read aloud. Good morning everyone and happy Thursday. It is Friday's Eve. I had a little ring on my phone last night that told me all after school activities are closed due to the possible weather. Depending on how tonight goes with the snow, we might have a cancellation tomorrow. I have a meeting during my planning time, so I will be going to that instead of grading my papers today. We have picture day today, so for our spirit day um, outfit, we were to wear fancy clothes. I got all of my math plans done yesterday, which made me feel so good. Today I'm going to try and plan read aloud, maybe some power up, and then this weekend I will worry about guided reading. because guess what? Rumor had it that it was gonna snow everywhere and that rumor ended up being true. Look how stunning 
It was so cute to watch my kids at the end of the day too because they were just like, oh my God, Miss Ankle, it's snowing. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. And I was like, yes, it's snowing. So what I ended up doing was packing all of my stuff that I needed to still plan with, my stuff that I need to grade. Currently on my way to go hang out with one of my colleagues. We are going to get some Dunkin'. After I do that, I'm gonna go home and I'm going to pretend that I have school tomorrow. But you know, if we don't, I guess that means I'll just have a free day tomorrow. Look. Yeah. Good morning and happy Friday. Today I am celebrating my first snow day as a fourth grade teacher and it is wonderful. I'm so happy because I got to sleep in until like 7.30 and snuggle with my pupper. I do not really have a set schedule for today other than I plan to work out. <laughs> All right, it is 9.50 and I officially cleaned my room, my closet, everything looks great. I'm currently in my car getting ready to go into the Panera Bread so I can get some work done. So I'm officially back home with my babies. Say hello, babies. I wanted to show you guys a few things that I've been working on today. I did not record me making them in the process, so I'm just gonna show you what they're turning out to be. I currently have three more of these in my classroom, but now I have six pods, so I need to obviously have three more team names, and I now have Team Velociraptor, Team Leoplorodon, and Team Pteranodon. So I'm gonna hang those up on Monday when I get to my room. Another thing I'm doing is my kiddos are now going to earn team points. So what I ended up doing was making a universal platform where every year, let's say I decide next year I wanna do a different theme such as just colors or animals or dogs. I can just write the name of the team right here and draw a race marker then I can tally their points here. And what I'm going to do is ask each pod or team what their end goal is. So what do they want if they happen to earn all of their points? It is currently 5.45 on my snow day and I have officially stopped working on my schoolwork. I didn't work on it all day, but I did work on it a majority of the day. Wouldn't you agree, Gregory? Yes, you did. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I will see you all in the next video.